In the last video, you saw how information for bioinformatics is organized on the NCBI tool. And I want to go through a really similar process to show you on Ensemble how to navigate the website um, and help you to understand the way that information is logically organized. So in NCBI, things are gene-centered. On Ensemble, they're really genome-centered, and I'll show you exactly what that means. If we select the genome that we want to look at, human, um, and look at the example um, that they give in the prompt, bracket 2, um, when we hit go, we won't just be brought to an article describing the gene, but we'll actually be brought to that location in the genome. Um, so you'll see a couple of tabs pop up as soon as the gene loads. We have the actual genome, a zoomed in view of the location in the genome, um, and that shows us that it's on chromosome 13. It actually shows us the band that it's on, Q12.3, um, and it also shows neighboring genes. Just like on PubMed, the gene page is how we can get to different transcripts and then to different protein products. Um, so one of the things we can do um, if we scroll down is we can click Show Transcript Table. Um, and we see that there are seven transcripts, um, but not all of those have an associated protein product. You'll notice that two of the transcripts are very similar. Um, they're about the same size, and they produce a protein that is 3,418 amino acids. If we click on that protein, a new tab will open up at Ensemble. So now we now have genome, chromosome, gene, and transcript. We can look at all of the different records that are here and the ensemble names. So if we go back to the gene tab, you'll see that everything in the human genome starts ENS. Um, that was the first genome that was put on ensemble, so it doesn't have any additional characters to describe it. G represents genes. T represents transcripts. So ENST represents the transcript identifier. And then P represents proteins. So if I click on one of these proteins, I can see a protein summary below. And this ENSP number represents the protein ID on Ensemble. All of the information that's available on NCBI is also available on Ensemble. Um, but one thing that's nice about Ensemble is a lot of it is easier to view visually. So for example, we can look at this very large gene um, that has 27 exons. We can look at the exon intron structure. We can actually see which bases are in which parts of the gene. We can also easily download files, um, and all of these things make it um, pretty simple to work with. If we click on protein, instead of showing at the bottom of the table the different DNA sequence and what's in the exon and in an intron, we'll actually see the protein. We have options here to download the sequence and blast the sequence. Um, and the last thing I want to show you is just what formats we can download. Um, so we can download in a FASTA format or rich text format. So that is a quick guide to Ensemble. Um, you can think of Ensemble as being genome-centered, because we're always going to select the genome, and that genome tab will always be available. As we zoom in from genome to chromosome to gene to transcript, new features and new layers of information are available.